Hey Jonesy Gems and welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to talk about Yo Gotti's brother Anthony Big Jug Mims. He was fatally wounded outside of a Memphis restaurant. Let's go ahead and get into it. Oh Lord have mercy. Rapper Yo Gotti's brother Anthony Big Jug Mims was among two men gunned down near a restaurant in Memphis, Tennessee, Saturday afternoon. A number of publications, including TMZ and Fox 13, have confirmed that Mims was pronounced dead at the scene just outside the restaurant. The second victim was rushed to a nearby hospital called St. Francis by someone driving a private vehicle and at last, when they last checked, he was listed in critical condition. Now, the shots were first reported to the police around 4.15 p.m. on Saturday, January 13th. Now, TMZ reported that the shooting took place soon after Big Jerk had attended a funeral service in the area. Police believe the two men were targeted in the shooting. Now, investigators have been combing through photos and videos circulating online that show Big Jug bleeding while laying on the ground as people try to tend to his injuries. At this point, it remains unclear whether Memphis-based Yogati, who was born Mario Santel getting Mems himself, was with his brother at the time of the shooting. The Doing Too Much rapper hasn't addressed his brother's death just yet. The Memphis native, who was said to have had very close relationship with his famous brother, was affiliated with Gotti's record label Collective Music Group, CMG, mostly working on the business side of things, like promoting the artist. It was founded in 2012. CMG has gone on to sign successful acts, including Moneybag Yo, 42 Doug, Black Youngster, Glorilla, ESTG, and Mozzie. Now, Yo Gotti first broke on the hip-hop scene when he released his debut album, Youngsters on a Come Up, in 1996, under the alias Lil Yo. And he went on to release 10 more studio albums, with the most recent being CM10, Free Game, 2022. Now, some people have taken to the internet to reveal that they believe the shooting of Mims might be related to the murder of young Dolph that happened in November of 2021. The rapper, who was 36 at the time, was fatally shot in Memphis while visiting Makita's Homemade Butter Cookies, a bakery he frequented, excuse me, frequently visit whenever he was back home. Now that shooting, along with Saturday's homicide that claimed the life of Mims, both happened not too far from Gotti's restaurant. At last, at the last check, investigators had not released any information about any suspects connected to this case. Oh my goodness. So do you guys think that his, you know, his demise had anything to do with young Dolph? See, I heard about, you know, when young Dolph had passed away, when he was fatally wounded. I heard about that. But I didn't know that, you know, there was something between Mims, you know, Big Jook and young Dolph. Like, why would he want to have him, you know, why would he want to have him murdered? You know, I never did like a deep dive into that. I just thought it was, these, these you know, everybody is young. They're young. Hmm. It's just really sad. It's just really sad. You know, even when you're in your 30s, your 20s, or whatever, you're still young. You still have more living to do. And for your life to be cut short, I don't know. I don't know why this happened. If you guys know anything about this, let me know in the comment section. But this news is everywhere. It's all over Instagram, TikTok. Listen, the news are covering this story. Okay? So, oh, wow. Mm -mm -mm. 
all this killing, all this shooting, it needs to stop. It really does. It needs to stop. Oh, but anyway, you guys, that's all I have on this story. If I find out more, I will let you guys know. Honey, TikTok is going crazy. There was a guy talking about how he said, you know, he was saying how when young Dolph had passed, you know, if he saw any of them talking about big joke, whatever, what was going to happen. I was like, oh, no, I don't want to hear that. <laughs> I, I quickly you know, kept scrolling. Cause I'm like, don't put yourself out there like that. Because what if you didn't do this? You know what I'm saying? The police are looking at videos. Okay. The police run to social media. They use social media as a source. So if you put something up there, connecting yourself to this murder and you didn't do it, you need to go back on social media where you put it and say, listen, I don't have nothing to do with this. I was just mad at the time because we all know the cops be watching, child. The cops be watching. Social media is their number one source. And whoever they have working for them, okay? So you guys got to be careful what y'all saying on social media. Don't do nothing to incriminate yourselves if you don't have anything to do with it. But then again, sometimes killers, they're not going to sit there and tell themselves, okay? Some killers want to get away with the murder. But... A lot of people who were, you know, very close to Young Dolph and looked up to Young Dolph, they'll say some crazy stuff on TikTok about, you know, this young man's death. I, I, I don't I don't like it. I don't like when um, people take other people's lives because you don't have the right to do that. You know what I'm saying? But it happens. It happens all day, every day. It really do. And it's unfortunate because some of these people are not living to see 40. Some of these young men are not living, not living to see 21, 25. You know what I'm saying? It's, it is, it's sad. It's really, really sad. But anyway, child, have y'all heard anything? Let me know in the comment section. And I'll talk to you guys later.